So you have a bunch of clips in your timeline inside Premiere Pro that you want to scale to fit the frame to get rid of this annoying black bar. So you go ahead and use the scale function you have learned about, you right click, and then you notice you have two different alternatives. You have the scale to frame size and you have the set to frame size. And we know that by selecting one of them, they both work. However, what's the difference between them? To explain it, I've created a new sequence and you can see that the resolution is 1920 by 1080, which is normal full HD. And in the timeline, I have a 4K screenshot where I'm using Google Docs. However, we're not able to see that I'm using the Google Docs here, so I will have to scale it. And for this example, I'm going to split it in half and use both of the options. So for the first one, I'm going to use the scale to frame size. And now you can see I'm using the Google Docs here. And for the second image, I'm going to use the set to frame size. And now we notice that the text here is quite hard to read, so I want to zoom into it. I will start by zooming into the first one, which is using the scale to frame size. So I will select it and I will just zoom into the text like so. And we can see it's quite hard to read what it says. And if we go to the next image here, which use the set to frame size, we can check if there are any difference. So if we go ahead and zoom into it like so, now we're suddenly able to see that it says this is a text document. But on the first one, it's quite hard to read it. So Premiere Pro is basically treating this image as a 4K image in a normal full HD timeline, while the first image here that used the scale to frame size has now been rasterized, which means that Premiere Pro treated it as a normal full HD image. There's a bunch of clever functionalities like these ones. If you want to learn more Premiere Pro fundamentals like this, check out the playlist here.